Hi there, Physics 30 group. I'm just going to explain to you what this monomic could be using in this topic to have a better understanding how to label each of your um, images that are from lenses. In this case, we're going to be dealing with mirrors first. Let me just share the monomic with you first. So you're going to be realizing in this monomic, we have the following statements. Sir, ner, ler, no, love, SUV. Okay, first things first, what does the C stand for? This means center. So this is the center of the image from the focal point. So here is the F for it. So keep in mind when we do the center to the focal point to the actual um, mirror in this case, you're always going to be realizing what's gonna happen is, is that it's equal distance amount. And so we're gonna be dealing with the mirrors first of all. So concave mirror as we realize, well, as it says, you're going like into a cave, so that means you should be drawing your image like the following. Uh, in a convex mirror, well, that's the opposite of that, of course. So what's gonna happen in that case is you're gonna be going in this kind of direction. Okay, so um, how this works is basically you put your object, you are actually, uh, real image so if it was right here let's just say it was an arrow what's going to happen is, is that once you draw your rays of course you're going to have a description of what it actually is so that will help you for it so you just have to understand concave and convex mirrors the difference of them of course so once again uh, let me just draw the the mirrors here concave there we go there's one way of drawing that much better than before and then convex, well, convex would be going outwards like that. Okay, so let's try these examples and see if we have a better understanding of it. First things first, let's make sure we could label our center and everything. Let's just check with a ruler right off the back. If I could rotate this again. If not, I'm gonna delete it. Let's make a new ruler, make it easier for me. Okay, so from the focal point to the actual mirror, Keep in mind, this is called the con, whoop, con cave mirror. So let's do it in centimeters because we live in a metric world here in Canada, about five centimeters. So going over here, it's about uh, four and a half. So we're gonna roughly say it's five centimeters. So that must mean it, it, this must be the center point. So what does that mean now? Well. When we have you, when you're using that monomic, sir, ner, this is the sir bit. If it was before in that, this is the ner bit. This is the ler, right between those two. This is the no, and this is the love. And then right over here is the SUV bit. So this is a, considered to be a concave mirror. So what's gonna happen here is we should be using the following. Ner, no change, hence the fact it's exactly the same size, but it's inverted, hence the fact it's upside down and it's real, you can actually see it. So going to the next one, let's just get a better understanding of what happens here. Okay, so in this case, let's figure out where this, this, this is a roughly around, well, let's go in metric again. So it's roughly around three and a half, so this is roughly around three and a half. So this is our considered to be our center point. Okay, the object is between focal and the love part. So that's, so the focal and the actual mirror, con cave mirror that is. So we should be using LUV in this case. So what's gonna happen is, is that the L means larger, hence the fact it's a larger than the original, U upright, and the V is virtual. So let's look at the next one. So looking at this one now, using the ruler here. So once again, this distance from here to here is roughly five. So that must mean this is five too. So this is our center part. So that means in this case, the we are going to be using the surbit. And then uh, that's from the object. So what's gonna happen is, is that we have a smaller one, hence the fact it's smaller, it's inverted, inverted, and it's real. So we can actually see it, concave mirrors. So they're realizing that the further you go back from the mirror, you will um, get the smaller feature from, from the center point. Now let's try the 
other mirror, which we were talking about earlier, which is the diverging, um, sorry, convex mirror. In this convex mirror, we're going to be looking at how you're always going to use SUV. doesn't matter where you are because in this is always on the other side. Uh, it's always going to make a virtual image. It's always going to be upright and it's always going to be smaller. But the key of this is, is that, well, what happens if you get closer to the actual mirror? What, what happened in that case? Well, you will see that if the object gets closer, well, let's take a look. Object is closer or further away. This is closer from the previous one. It gets smaller. So that's basically one of the key things from this concept. So keep in mind, the closer you get to the actual mirror, the larger it is. Further away you go, the smaller it is. But you're still using smaller, upright, and virtual. Of course, that will help you understanding how to describe that. Here's one more to make sure we understand that. So, whoa, we went way further from the actual uh, mirror in this case. And keep in mind, this mirror is considered to be a convex mirror. So further away, here's your center point. Doesn't matter, focal point. What's, um, what's going to end up happening is, is that you're still going to have the whole fact of, actually, wait a sec, that's not your focal point. My apologies here. Uh, that's your focal point. Regardless, what's going to happen is, is that, uh, you have your image, uh, and from that, what's going to happen is your image is going to be upright. Why? Because we're using SUV. S for smaller, U for upright, B for virtual. And that's basically that in a nutshell. Hopefully that helps with using this Cerner Lure No Love SUV.